Hey, welcome to Tinehead Park in the heart of Surrey. Such a beautiful park. You know, I first discovered this park years ago and I was so surprised. You know, we're so close to the, the highway in the heart of Surrey. Um, and who would have known there's such big old growth trees, uh, greenery, tons of trails, a concrete area you can go bike ride with your kids are on your own. Beautiful park. So let's go explore. Okay, I'm doing the serpentine loop, even though there's so much to do here at Tinehead. Um, but I'm just gonna do the serpentine loop and check out the fish hatchery. Part of my adventure here at Tinehead Park. Okay, now we drove to the Serpentine Hills entrance, one of four entrances into the park. And this is that big half that's all concrete. So I've been here with my kids. Great place to teach young ones to ride or just be on a dedicated bike path where there's not cars around. Fairly flat, this is a bit of a downhill section, but great biking on this half of the park. Okay, that was a quick look at uh, entrance number two into the park, Serpentine Hills, which is all the concrete. Great for bike riding. Do some loops, get some exercise, have some fun. We're gonna go check out the next entrance into the park now. Okay, now I'm at Serpentine Fields entrance. And this is cool because this is where you can cross the highway. There's a big pedestrian overpass. So if you live here in Surrey, wouldn't it be great just to walk from your houses if you could, cross this um, bridge, and you're right here in this beautiful park. I'm gonna go take a look at the bridge, which I can show you all if anyone lives in the hood. Let's go check it out. Go run up here. Okay, it might be a little bit loud even with the uh, wireless mic on, but here's this bridge over the number one. So that's cool. If you live behind me and you just want to bike here, easy way to get to the park. Okay, here it says two serpentine loops, 650 meters. Maybe we'll go check that out because I actually was on the serpentine loop just a few minutes ago when I um, entered my first park entrance, was, which was the hatchery. I'm at my third park entrance now. Checking out every one of the uh, park entrances and exploring the park. So I noticed some uh, concrete still over by the parking lot if you're on bikes, but here now I'm on a nice cool trail even though it's a hot day. Beautiful canopy. It's A, beautiful and B, um, cool. Cool as in cool and cool. Okay, now I'm checking out the um, optional leash area. So for you dog owners, I guess you can take your dogs off leash and let them run around and get their exercise. So I'll check that out next. Leash optional area. Let your dog run free or keep it leashed, please. Da, 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 da. Coyotes in area, wow, okay. Nice that the dogs have somewhere to run. Keep dogs out of creeks, scoop up the poop. Stop, leash up here. Okay. Oh, that gate doesn't work too well. Nice that they have an area for dogs. Let's go check it out. Okay, we're just leaving the dog area, off leash area. Gonna head back to the car. We're gonna check out the last entrance into the park. Who knew there were such beautiful, huge old growth trees here in the heart of Surrey? 
such a great park. Okay, here you can enter the other side of the park. Nice uh, bike crosswalk. Now we're back at the fields where we parked and we're gonna go check out the last entrance. You can see way down there is the other part of the park. Long concrete. Good biking, good concrete. Rollerblading, because it's like really pristine concrete, not full of pebbles and stuff. So get out there and enjoy. Can okay, I'm at Serpentine Hollow entrance. The quietest parking lot out of the four. But look at that lush beauty. And again, it's cool on a hot, hot day. It said 225 meters to a hollow tree, I guess. So I'm gonna go check that out. Gosh, again, just beautiful. Serpentine Hollow. Great place for a picnic. Washrooms, garbage. Nice field, some shade, picnic benches. Oh, wow. Cool, cool, cool. So that was the Serpentine Hollow, the last of four entrances that I've checked out. So overall, I give that thumbs up. Tynehead Regional Park. Totally awesome. Go check it out.